no, 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 no. Did I kill him? I think we both died. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play 1001 Games. I'm your host, Gaming J, and today we are checking out Archon, um, which is kind of like a version of Battle Chess. Um, we get to decide right away, do we want to be the forces of light or dark? Um, I'm going to go with the forces of darkness because, hey, I'm kind of an evil person, um, and also because I don't know how to play this game, so I want to watch the computer make the first move in all cases. I'm not actually an evil person, guys. Um, I hope no one actually thinks I am. Hey, maybe I am and I don't know, you know. Um, do, you, do evil people know they're evil? I don't know. Maybe I am. Maybe I am. Anyway, okay, here we have the board. Uh, it's the computer's turn. The computer likes to take a time to think in this game, which is kind of funny. Um, I did try this game out. Oh, man, look at that. Um, a little bit. Um, and so this is like chess, as you can see. It sh should remind you of chess. You have all these different pieces. Um, you have to try to capture these, like, glowing dot areas here. So there's one, two, three, and then we each have one um, kind of on our main guys, our main dudes, our kings, or whatever. Um, what's different from this game and other games, though, is when... Okay, let's have two pieces attack here. Okay, my manticore is going to attack his bird there. Here we go. I will challenge this foe. Um, so when my piece touches his piece, I don't automatically get it. I now have to fight him. And so you ain't never seen nothing like this in chess before. I'll guarantee you that. Um, the battlefield is this, like, weird... Um, I, I, this, whoa oh my god what the hell was that no get away don't do that again uh you jerk this battlefield is like this weird um you know rotating field of dots which is kind of funny um oh he's he's taking his time to think again okay come on computer okay he's got two of the glowy dots that is not not good um what Okay, fine. We'll set our Banshee up to attack him. I don't know what any of these units are. Um, we're going to kind of explore this together. Um, yeah, so this uh, this game... Uh oh, shoot, I wasn't even looking. What's he attacking? Oh, he did this to me last time. So I tried this game once before. Um, oh, yeah, take it. Um, and he did this to me last time. He killed, like, my most powerful dude with this just this, like, random guy of his. Oh, man. It is... Oh, I think I'm going to get him this time, though. This will teach him. How dare he? How dare he try to attack me? Oh, yeah. Uh, so one thing is when you shoot, it takes a while for you to, like, regenerate a bullet, and it's totally unclear when you can shoot again. So you just kind of have to take a shot and, and hope it, it works. Because I was going like, shoot, 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 and it wasn't doing anything. So, Sucker! Okay, well, we're in a good position then. He killed he killed my manticore, one of my manticores. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I think all these units, they just kind of move faster and can take more damage when they fight. Let's fight his banshee with whatever the hell this thing is. Um, whoa. Interesting. Oh, no. Yep. No. Yep. No. 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 Did I kill him? I think we both died. What? <laughs> you don't see that in chess. You don't see two units touching each other and both dying. Hmm. Okay. Now we've so we've each lost something. Um. He lost a bird and I lost. Wait. How did how did he get his bird back? Oh, there's spells. Select a spell. Oh, hello. Cease conjuring, teleport, heal, shift time, exchange. Summon elemental. Ooh, revive. I don't want to... Oh, shoot. How do I cancel? <laughs> this is the problem with playing these old games. Is you, you just have to kind of click things and hope it goes well. I don't want to heal. I don't want to do any of this stuff right now. Um, Crap imprison no oh hell all right let's imprison this guy why not try again no dude get me out of this 
Oh god. I don't know. Teleport. What 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 should we do here, guys? Teleport, shift time, exchange. Okay, let's summon an elemental. Send it to the target. Uh here. Ugh, PowerPoint season. Okay, fine. This the fire elemental appears where? 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 Oh, oh. Oh, we can like send it to Whoa, look at this guy. Holy crap, how fast is he going? This guy was uh the one soldier they gave a bit of meth to, you know, like the Japanese kamikaze pilots. He's like, "You want to go? You want to go?" Huh? All right. Well, that was easy. We totally just wasted a spell there. That's okay. We don't need spells. We don't need fancy magic to win here. We're going to win due to our wits. So I always found chess to be super fascinating as a kid. I was horrible at it. Uh, what is this guy? Troll. Let's let's go ahead and move our troll out. He's looking for trouble. He wants a fight. Um, but I always found chess super fascinating. Um, I remember I had a book that first... What the hell did he do to me? Crap. I should pay more attention. I had a book that like taught me how to play chess and it was like chess for dummies and it had all these like neat like cartoon drawings of things so, like a rook was uh, portrayed as like an actual kind of like castle on wheels with like soldiers running around manning it and stuff. Um, and I love the idea of chess. It was this sort of intellectual game of wits and strategy. I always sucked at chess though. Um, I was not very good at chess. Um, Troll is big and slow, and guess what? He shoots a single ball, just like every other unit in this game. So I, I guess if you, you get good at this kind of like shooting part, you really don't need any strategy. I'm totally going to die here. The troll can't dodge worth crap. Well, what's the point of a... He's... He, uh, he sucked! The troll sucked! I thought the, the units behind the front line were supposed to be better. Oh, anyway, what was I talking about? Chess? Yeah, anyway, I really love the idea of chess. Um, I was not very good at it. Um, this game, you know, as I said, it's people kind of view it as it's like chess. Oh, man. I mean, that guy, that one guy's just going to wipe out my whole team. This is stupid. Um, but it, it's obviously not chess because, again, you could have the best strategy. But if you suck at those like little action-y parts like I do, um, you're in trouble. And chess is not like that. If you can outthink your opponent in chess, you know, your opponent, he's going down. Okay, we're going to move our Basilisk out. I don't have a good strategy here other than just, you know, go all in. I'm just sending one unit after the other to try to capture this lower point. Something is going to be able to beat this stupid archer of his. Mark my words, guys. The archer always falls. Boom. Oh yeah, it didn't even take one hit. And guess what? I'm going to guard that to the end of time. He's not getting that lower part. Um I have he's still beating me. Oh, what the freaking stupid bird. The bird's problematic. Uh actually no, the bird is really easy to deal with. Oh sure, send another bird down here. I can handle it. Um okay. So our strategy so far has been to kind of go all in for this point. We have lost most of our southern army. Uh, I guess we should start moving in with the upper army. Like, what are these guys used for? They're pawns and chess, but these frontline guys, they don't do crap in this game. Because you get in there, and they have no, like, range attack. Maybe you can get lucky and get a hit or two. Um, but, you know, then you're just dead. Um, so they're kind of useless. Let's just try this one. My manticore. See, his like bullet is slow. I mean, that guy's just gonna dodge it. This manticore is dead, man. Why did I send him in? This was a mistake. Can he retreat? Is there a retreat option? Ah, oh, the. And okay, and what battlefield are we fighting on? Where it's sort of like glowing dots here. Oh, oh! I didn't even get one stinking hit on him. Okay, we're just going to clear out our northern army until we get our banshees, because I'm pretty good with the banshee, apparently. Um, Valkyrie. Uh-oh. I don't like the sound of that. No, you stay away. I don't like melee fighting, because I don't know how to do it effectively. You go away from me. Okay. Ah, damn. 
damn it. Yes. One more and he's dead. You'll never get the Banshee. Oh, come on. Stay away from my dots. The dots are mine. You will never control the dots. Red, green, yellow, purple, white. They're all mine. I can't get a stinking shot in on this guy. Ugh. And again, I, so I do a shot, and then I have no idea when I can take my next shot. I just kind of have to wait for a couple seconds. Oh. All right. Ah, oh, you dodged that. It's ridiculous. Yes. There we go. This, this Banshee is going to carry me through the game. Um, and I'm okay with that. All right, what the hell is this? Oh, no, wait. I guess it wasn't a Banshee. What What is it that's down there? I can't even tell. Oh, he's teleporting stuff. <gasps> you do not do this. To oh, what the hell is this? What the hell is this? What am I fighting? It's like a unicorn on crack. <laughs> oh, God. I don't know what to think about the fact that, like, every battle here is the same. It's just... You know, oh my god, I, I'm never going to hit this thing. This thing is going to destroy me, man. Look at this. Ridiculous. Oh, well, I got one hit in on him. Damn it. Ah. Uh, crap, that, that guy was my end game. All right. Uh, how are you dealing with trolls? Um, well, apparently just as freaking effective. <laughs> oh, I'm not even... My troll's just dead. What is the point of a troll? It's so big and slow. Let's make a unit that's so big and slow that can't do anything. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Did I hit him once? This freaking unicorn is just going to show up and, like, wipe out my whole team. Um, yeah. So, so this is... This is, uh, you know, what game I even play? I've forgotten the name. Archon. Archon. Light versus dark. Okay, how are you against uh, goblins? Oh, God. What is supposed to beat this thing? <laughs> I was one-shotted. One-shotted. <laughs> this doesn't make any sense. Oh, God. <sighs> Were you guys chess players? I gotta, I gotta think that probably not many people played this game. Well, I don't know. Maybe were you guys Archon players? Do you have fond memories of this? Maybe if you're watching this video, it's because you have fond memories, and you're like, no, you don't send the goblin after the unicorn. What are you doing, Jay? And so, like, there, there must be higher level strategy that I'm missing. Obviously, um, there probably is like a rock paper scissors system where like each unit kind of counters another very well. I just don't happen to know what the hell counters this unicorn. Let's try a shapeshifter. Uh, the shape shifter I know takes on the form of whatever you're fighting. So at least this is an equal fight. But, you know, if the computer is better than me, which it often is, then I'm kind of screwed. No. Do not do this. God, even the even when I was a unicorn, I couldn't get a hit on him. This is trouble. Trouble with a capital trub. Okay, let's... No. I want to, I want to revive a guy. I totally want to revive a guy. I want this guy back. Uh, I want him back here or here or here. Uh, th that unicorn better not kill me. I swear. My army's looking rough, guys. We didn't go into this with the best of strategies. Oh, the freaking unicorn. <laughs> no. No unicorn. Oh, I'm I'm just dead. Look at my health. I think it. Oh, I got one shotted. Why even give me any health then? <laughs> just put it down to zero. <sighs> this is looking rough, guys. Okay, I'm just gonna full on challenge this dude. If if I can't beat him with my best guy, then then I'm done. We're we're done as a civilization. We're done as an army. Um, my sorceress. Her plan is to skirt around the outsides of the arena and hopefully not take any more shots because otherwise I'm totally dead. This stupid unicorn is going to one-shot me. What do they feed this thing? I want to know. 
the, the stupid magical unicorn he had, he killed me. Um, do I have unicorns? Why don't I have something like that? It's unfair. Nothing I had could stand up to a unicorn. I killed like, I don't know, I was killing eagles and, and griffins and something. Yeah, a stinking unicorn. All right, just, I, I kind of, I've lost the motivation to try almost. <laughs> and you know what? I didn't even have a chance there. I didn't have a chance. All right, well, you know what? Here, capture. Well, I guess they haven't captured the last thing, but. Okay, dragon. Can a dragon beat a unicorn? I would say in a real fight, of course. Um, but it's looking bad for the dragon, I gotta say. Okay, I'm just I'm just going for it. Come here. Come here. Come here. No strategy. The dragon's just, just gonna ram ya. Yeah, I I should have used strategy. Should have dragon is retreating. Ah, you stupid Come on, come on, I almost, yes! Dragon beats unicorn. Finally, something could stand up to the damn thing. Oh my god. <sighs> anyway, were you guys uh, big chess players when you were kids? Or are you now? You know, As I said, chess is something that I always liked and admired. I'm okay at, I suppose, nowadays, but I'm not good. You know, like, I'm not a good chess player. Um, games like this always reminded me of in Star Trek, the next generation. They had that version of like 3D chess that they would play. It was like future chess. Um, I always kind of wondered how that game worked. Um, and whenever I saw a game like this, it was sort of like a modernized version of chess. It always kind of reminded me of that Star Trek thing. So, you know, maybe this is Star Trek chess. I got to think no, because this is this feels more like an action game to me. You know, like after playing this now, it looks like chess on the outskirts. It has the veneer of strategy, but really it's an action game. Um, I mean, I guess you could say, I guess you could argue that things like StarCraft and stuff are similar, where they, they sort of look like strategy games, but they're really action games. But StarCraft is a strategy game, so maybe I'm not being totally fair to this game. Um, and it really does, you know, I mean, there are strategic elements. So I don't know what I what I mean when I say there aren't but okay well okay we've gotten one little glowy dot back from we don't even have enough people oh no we do i was gonna say we don't even have enough people to hold all the glowy dots so we couldn't win by uh like taking over the, the magic points or whatever um oh my god uh what am i fighting i wish it would tell you it like tells you on the like uh overhead map the, like chessboard but not when you're in dot land. Oh yeah, this dragon. This is where it's at, man. This is like the unicorn of my side. Maybe this thing is really good. I never got him to fight. Well, we'll take out this little dude. Let's just start wiping him out. Oh yeah, he can. Ah, no. Oh man. <laughs> Woo. Um, another great sort of uh, computer version of chess is uh, Battle Chess. That one was really awesome. Um, oh yeah, I mean, I'm just dead here. What am I fighting? Um, Battle Chess was sort of like a version of chess where all the pieces looked alive and they were animated and stuff. So like when a pawn took a queen, he would like take out his like lance and like poker and stuff. And like uh, the rook was actually like a rock monster and he would like eat guys and stuff. So that literally was just chess with like animations for when the pieces captured each other. And it was terrific. It was amazing. I love battle chess. I should play that. Maybe I will play that sometime. Um. All right, let's do this, buddy. Let's do this. Well. You're better at that than me. <laughs> oh, it's not looking good for the dark side, I gotta tell you. Well, this is what we get for being evil, you know? This is what we get. Star Wars always made this big thing about how the dark, you know, well, not the originals, but the prequels made this thing about how the dark side is not truly evil, it is the other side of light, you know, there's light and there's dark, and it's not good or bad, and who are we kidding? The dark side's evil, man. George Lucas with his... Oh, oh man. 
Oh, end it, end it. Just take me down. Stop toying with me and capture that last stupid magic point. Come here, come here. Wow. All right, this is this is it. I'm I'm gonna move off this magic point and sort of give them an honorable victory if that's what they want. Look, I'm leaving. You can take that point. I've surrendered. End my suffering, please. Please end my suffering. Ah, oh, you bastard! You're toying with me. Fine, I'm gonna go for your like big ha head honcho then. I take my surrender back. We are now enemies once again. Oh man, he does a lot of damage. So do I. Ha! That's what you get. You could have had it all, man. You could have had victory. But you decided to get cocky. Got cocky and it costed you. Guess what now? The dragon's coming for all of you. This is uh, Balerion the Black Dread. And he is sick and tired of playing these stupid games. Trust me. You don't want to get on the bad side of Balerion. He will eat your family. The trick is, I think the health transfers from battle to battle. So I can't be taking much damage as I'm going through wiping these guys out one at a time. So, okay, didn't take a single hit. It's a good sign. A very good sign. Oh, but there's still a goddamn unicorn. <sighs> well, let's get that out of the way now, because if I can beat the unicorn, I'm in good shape. No, oh, no, get away. Give me some distance here, man. Ah, yes. I got the unicorn. I never thought I'd say that in like a chess game. Yes, I got the unicorn. Okay, are these guys going to be trouble for the dragon? I think one hit will kill them. Yes. <laughs> this is hilarious. They wiped out my whole opposing team. I was down to nothing. And now I'm like one dragon, and I probably can wipe them all out. So I don't know what this means. <laughs> he just got one shot. In. Suck it, fool. So do I win? If I can wipe them all out with one dragon, yeah, like, oh my god, so easy. Give me a challenge. Let's wipe out this guy because uh, he's their last, like, good unit. He moves so slow though that I'm not I'm like look how look how much time I had to dodge that. I'm not Whoa okay I'm getting cocky. Do not get cocky. Be your downfall. Oh damn it. Okay, I am a little worried now. I gotta kill this guy. Yes, got him. Got him. I just gotta kill these two and I can one shot these guys. Oh, the arrogance of it. You should have captured those dots when you had the chance. I like the comeback of the century. So his unicorns were problematic for me. Oh. But my dra No, 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 a light force is one. Fine, fine, fine. You guys earned it. But I wanted on the record that if I had played that that last battle just a little better, my dragon would have made a t complete comeback and wiped out his opposing team. So what does it mean for a game like this when it's all it's you know it, it's seemingly like chess, but really one unit can win the game for you? Um, yeah, I don't know. It's it's fun. It, it was a little more fun than I thought it would be. Once I had that dragon, it was kind of fun to like walk around the board and try and wipe people out. I could see that if you start to started to understand all the all the you know nuances of the, the game and so on, um, then you would have a lot of fun with this, especially with a friend. Um, I think with a friend, this would be more fun. My main criticism of this game is that every single unit fights the same. You know, except for the melee guys, everyone just sort of dances around and shoots one dot. It would have been interesting 
if the units were a little more unique. I mean, I guess the Banshee had like a force field or something, so it could like it was kind of a melee attack unit in a weird way. But yeah, it would have been nice to see some more variety there. The spells are interesting. I didn't really get to play with them all that much. Um, I don't know. So yeah, this game, you know, in terms of pros and cons, it, it it's not a bad game. Um, but I think it would be more fun with a friend. And definitely you'd probably have to play it for a lot more than I did to kind of get the nuances. The cons are I wish it was a little more uh, sophisticated. But hey, it came out on the ZX Spectrum and tons of other sort of low-powered computers back in the day. So you can only expect so much from a game like this. Should you play this before you die? I would say not necessarily, but if you're looking for like a retro game to try with uh, a friend to just have sort of a hilarious time, this game uh, might be able to do it for you. Anyway, that's it, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this uh, Let's Play. If you have, uh, go ahead, give me a like or give me a subscribe, because uh, either way, I will be back in a couple days with a new video and a new game. Um, and so until then, guys, uh, peace.